Okay, I absolutely have to share this tip with y'all because I recently learned it. So this is an old candle jar and I like the glass containers on some of them. And my neighbor showed me how to make them look like this. This is kind of like a money saver too if you're needing containers, then just clean out your candle jars. Show you, I've got some water heating up right now and then I'm gonna show you the little trick that makes it work. Doesn't matter if it just burned out or if it's been burned out for weeks or months. When you turn it on, it automatically goes to 212. So I just let it do its thing. Just boil some water on the stove. Then, this is really all you do. Pour it in there. I just fill it up to the top. And then you can see already how the oils are coming to the top and it's gonna pull all this wax, it's gonna melt it, it's all gonna come to the top, then harden, and then all that's left underneath is gonna be water. So this is an hour and a half later. You can see how it's solidifying on top. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it um, till tomorrow. Okay, it is the next morning, and this is how it looks. It's super solidified on top, and then this is the fun part. You seriously just push on one side, and then it's gonna come up as a disc. So, ta-da! And if you want it, you could break this up into little cubes and use it for your wax melt, but I'm just gonna toss it. And then you wash out the jar. Sometimes the little stalk in there is really, really stuck to the glass, and it's hard to get off, but if it's hard, I'll just do another thing of hot water let it set for at least half an hour, and then scratch it off, and it's pretty easy. Okay, I dropped it down the disposal right there. Here's a little tip. Whenever you're putting your hand in the disposal, make sure that you are far away from the button. So our button is actually over here. It's at the top anyway, so got it. I don't think that I can actually wash this and film, but I'm gonna give it a shot. So I just some Dawn dish soap. You can see there's really no effort. So one-handed, that's how good it looks. That other stuff, that blackness at the top, that's gonna come off. And it worked. Seriously, this took me maybe two minutes of effort. And then I can use it for Q-tips or cotton balls or even like a drinking cup. And I have the lid here if I still wanted to keep a lid on it. And I'll just go ahead and show you, this is a Better Homes and Garden one. Probably toxic, but if you don't mind <laughs> toxins in your house, then get you one of these jars.